did, and I'm it's giving them to Tina. Oh, Happy whoa. Valentine's Day. We're just, that's great. And that Indian <laughs> giver. <laughs> in the kitchen with Chef Tina Bohr from Water Street Grill in Yorktown. Welcome and happy Valentine's Thank Day. Thank you. Thanks for All having right, me. So what are you going to make for us? Um, today we're going to do pan-seared red snapper with salt potatoes, oh. and then we're topping it off with a spicy lemongrass broth. And you brought the entire fish. Yes. Are you going to fillet it on air? Or you uh, already no, got some we aren't fillet? filleting it. We're cooking it whole. Oh, whole? Uh, the, yes. What? Yes. Yeah. And the best thing huh. with whole snapper is the flavor. So, and whenever you're buying whole snapper or any whole fish, you want to look at the eye and make sure that it's not cloudy. Okay. Because that's telling you a good sign it's that not. it's a few days old, Ugh. past. So clarity is good. Mm. Okay, I'm all about that. Okay, we'll get started on that. We come back after the break. Thanks so great. much. Thanks. All right, so we've done the sweet treats, and if you're looking for a place to go for dinner, this is a great spot. Chef Tina Bora from Water Street Grill in Yorktown, back in the kitchen. So, yeah. are you going to be busy today? You think? Pretty busy. Yeah. Um, we've gotten a lot of phone calls. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't take reservations, so you if walk you're, right in. Yeah, if you're looking last minute, we definitely have a spot for you. Sounds good. All right, so let's get started on this red <coughs> snapper. All right. See, I was like, oh, we're going to fillet it. And you're like, no, we're eating. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going whole, whole with that. <laughs> uh, but to start off, we're going to go with the potatoes. Okay. And these are our salt potatoes. So these are little baby bliss potato or baby potatoes. I okay. See. Let me switch with you. We're so going to go with, yeah, we're going to go with one pound. And you want to just start off by with cold water filling. Okay. Why do you want Maybe, to cold water? Uh, just, basically because when you go from cold water straight to a boil with the salt it absorbs it a lot better really I didn't know because that. Okay. yeah with salt oh, potatoes you want salt. the flavor oh, yeah and we actually much? add a cup of salt a cup of yeah. salt it doesn't okay seem I too healthy you. but honestly <laughs> with with the mixture of everything it's really really good okay all right so we're gonna let this cook so that needs to come to a boil yeah Got we're gonna it. bring that up to a boil let it cook for about 30 minutes okay and or until Fork tender. Gotcha. And then going on to the lemongrass broth, we're going to start with chicken stock. And basically, you can throw all this stuff right into the pot. Mm -hmm. Lemongrass, and then shallots okay. or green onions, cilantro. Love cilantro. Yeah. Makes and this is all sliced, chopped, fresh ground garlic or okay. ginger, and then fresh chopped garlic. Are you having to whisk that? Or are you just kind of all uh, We're just going to let it gotcha. blend okay. together, rumbling boil. Uh, is this popular for you guys there? It seems to be. It's mm -hmm. not on the menu. I run it as a special oh, okay. often, and people love it. It's a very eye-opening thing for a lot of people because <laughs> they're guys, like, whoa, the whole fish. You guys, you know, do a lot of different flavors there, not just American. You touch on some other yeah, different flavors. Yeah. Uh, but purely, you know, pizzas, mm -hmm. a lot of hamburgers, yeah. you know, gastro pub stuff. Gotcha. I like so. it. So we're going to let this all go. Okay. Uh, the broth takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Well, how do and you know when it, you're gonna, it's done? Is it You're going to bring it up, up to a boil okay. and then let it simmer for about 10, 15. And then we're going to turn it off, add the cherry tomatoes. All right. That's so just let's extra switch additive. because this is yeah. where the real action is this about is to happen. This is where we get into it. Okay. So the, when you said you have the red snapper, I guess for any, or any fish for, for any that matter. For any whole fish, you want to look at the eyes. The clarity of the eye makes you well determine the freshness. That eye, Craig. Yeah. Uh, if it's go. if it's kind of cloudy, <laughs> yeah. If it's kind of cloudy, you don't want to mess with that. Okay. So we're gonna take the fish. So and dredge you have it. some little slits in there. Yeah. Okay. You want to uh, score it, and this provides even cooking. Okay. So we're just gonna cover this with flour. And this oil All is, is serious right now. Really, really hot. So do you want like super hot oil? We want oil? it to be about 375 degrees. Okay. So each side is going to take, oh, the is. first side's probably going to take about. Are you putting some flour in? Some? Yeah. What? You want to get all the crevices really nice this and covered. This is a first for me here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, about the little tail. He just Oh, we're going to let that kind of oh, hang out. It just hangs out. Okay. Yeah. That's so excited. Okay. The stand first back. side, yeah, stand, stand back. back. I don't want to get know what's you. happening. Be so careful. Be careful, be Tina. Be very, very careful. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, sh 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 oh that's a good little sizzle. Yeah. So is, this looks like it's not going to take long to cook. No, at no, no. All. One side, the first side, you want it to be about seven to nine minutes, depending okay. on the size. This is about a pound, pound and a half snapper. Okay. So we go with this for about seven to nine minutes until it gets a little brown. 
and then we'll flip it on the other side okay. for another five to seven. Gotcha. And then at, at some point it goes in the oven. Oh, we don't uh, we don't throw it in the oven. Oh, no. it just cooks and then it's ready to go. But yep. For uh, ready to plate. Well, okay. Well, this is a great time to stop. Everything is cooking and simmering, and then in our next segment yep. we'll show the finished product. Great. And we'll talk about some other stuff going on at the restaurant. Great job. Nice. Thank you. Check that out. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and this is Friday in the kitchen with Chef Tina Bora from Water Street Grill in Yorktown. We are finishing up our delicious dish that is one of the specials for Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, tonight we have a great variety of specials, so like Come I said down. before, if you Walk don't have reservations, last minute, roll on through. You're going to get a lot of people, hey, Tina, where's Tina? Tina's that we can come. <laughs> That's what I expect. I'll, I'll pop All out All right, and so say the hello. potatoes, yeah, the we lemon got grass broth. finished product here. Um, just to finish off the potatoes, I'm going to add some butter yes. just to melt in there. Everything's better with butter. Yeah. You know, fat's flavor. Yeah. How long do you know, when, when do you know when the potatoes are done? Um, That's like a one, it's like Like I said, one about egg. 30, 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. And you want it to be fork tender so you can stick a fork right in there. Gotcha. And then just to finish this broth off. Oh, does Ooh, it smell yeah. great? Smell it. We're going to add these cherry Yum. tomatoes. Look at that. Just so they don't, you know. Look Get all that. wilted. And this had the lemongrass, <coughs> the shallots. Yeah, the cilantro, lemongrass. Yes. Okay. Yeah, ginger. Like it. It's a real, a little like bit a real, of crushed red A real light dish. Pepper. Yeah, it's great flavors mixed all together. But this red so we're going to take the snapper. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. Very careful with this so you don't yes. burn yourself back up. Back I know. Up. I want <laughs> hot oil flying everywhere. Right. So we're going to grab that, kind of dredge that. Now, is red snapper, do you do any other kind of fish where you, you know, yeah, dredge the whole um, thing? Yeah, actually, this past it? weekend, we had whole sea bass. Whole sea bass. Whole black bass. sea bass, yeah. Wow. And that went over pretty well. I think I sold about 15 pounds of that. So, wow. We Brad, do a lot of, is, are you into this seafood. red snapper, Brad? I mean, yeah. you eat the whole thing? I'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> Demolish it, right? <laughs> Let's <laughs> do it. All right. So, now wow. that our potatoes are done. Crazy. And mounted with the butter, we're going to go ahead and place these all around so there. So it's like served up as a platter. Is this kind of how you, um, you know, if you were, if somebody you know, were to usually get this? what I do is I put it on a uh, skewer so oh, okay. it will st stand up. But okay. we're going to go ahead like that. Put these all around there. Nice. nice potatoes, salt potatoes. And you notice I didn't salt the fish yeah. or add any salt to the broth. So right. that's basically the salted count gotcha. component there. Okay. And then with the broth. We're just going to yeah, take this. Situation oh, happen? yeah. This take this right up. over the top. Wow. So a lot of flavors are going. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Marrying together. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right. Well, let's talk about Water Street Grill. For folks who have never been, kind of explain the atmosphere, what it's like if they come. We know you welcome walk-ins. It's a great gastro pub. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of beers on taps, like I said. Pizza, burgers, great appetizers, oysters. Uh, there's Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Live music. Okay. Almost every Friday and Saturday night. We do oyster roasts. Oh gosh, we have like events, like yeah. crazy parties that we always do. We did an 80s theme party. <laughs> and yeah, I think our nice. next upcoming party is March okay. 7th. Well, you guys are on Facebook. Uh, yeah, March media, 1st, so. I think we're going to do a Wild West party. So oh, that should wow. be interesting. Shh, shh. Yeah, come right. on through. The holders through. Definitely. Well, this looks great. Um, thank you so much for thank coming you for on me. Water Street Grill. Make sure you go check them out. Lunch and dinner daily, 323 Water Street, up in Yorktown. The phone number is 369-5644. They're also on Facebook, but go to their website. Check them out. Water Street Grill with an E. Dot that. Tina, nice job. Happy Valentine's thank Day. You.